back, everyone. Uh, <laughs> had a bunch of issues with my mic today that I've been trying to work out. Uh, I just gave up. I'm no longer using a mixer. I'm just using my straight up mic here. So it might sound a little different. Uh, I'm running out of time to make a video though, but I, I wanted to get to this really quick uh, today. If you joined us for last night's VP debate over at DLive, uh, you know. <laughs> um, it was fun, by the way. I'm, I'm thankful for everybody who showed up. It's always easier uh, if you can share your pain with others, if you know what I mean. It was minus a couple good zingers by Pence. I found the entire thing to be pretty boring, and it probably didn't change many minds. Uh, but I do think that Pence won the debate. Uh, and why would I say that? Well, just based solely on the reaction from the media, just the insane uh, the amount of like lobbying, the accusation of mansplaining, which is you know just something that's completely made up. It's not even a real thing. And, uh, of course, sexism. He's a sexist because he was mansplaining. And, uh, <laughs> of course, they did, right? Uh, that's what tells me he won. They think that he did well, and they felt the need to circle the wagons for Harris because that's the media's job, right? And we're going to get into that as far as fact-checkers. And uh, <laughs> are they actual fact-checkers? No, I don't think so. But before we get into this, give me 30 seconds for a quick capitalism break from this episode's sponsor, Noble Gold. If you worked for a company for years before COVID came around and you were let go, you might have left some treasure behind. Your old 401k or IRA could be worth thousands, and it's still working for your old firm, not you. So if you're a bit uncertain about what the future holds right now, you should call the team at Noble Gold at 1-877-646-646. 5347. And if that's not incentive enough, with each qualifying IRA, you'll get a solid silver 5 ounce Apollo 11 coin free. So it's worth jumping on the phone and calling 877 646 5347 now. That's 877 646 5347. So let's get right to it. Um, I'm not going to cover all the fact checks because there's, you know, a dozen fact check articles out there from different networks and, you know, a slew, maybe 12 fact checks. So I'm not going to go through all of them. And the main reason why is because once we start digging into why these fact checks are a complete fraud, it pretty much discredits the entire thing. So, I mean, it's not even really worth looking at at that point. Now, when I say that these fact checks are fake, what I'm really saying is that they're not really checking facts. There may be like one or two legit fact checks. And then the rest are just like PR spin from the Biden campaign. I mean, these fact checkers really may as well be part of the Biden campaign. So like I said, maybe there's like one or two legit fact checks in there. I'm not saying that politicians don't lie, of course. Uh, but then the rest are fake. It's, uh, you know, the best lies have an element of truth to them. So I've gone through uh, all these supposed fact checks, as you can see there now. And uh, I've, there, it's all the, you know, the, the major media organizations here. We got USA Today, AP, CBS, uh, WABC, uh, the BBC in there, and that'll be uh, something special that uh, about all of this and, and involving the BBC. And then, of course, we have CNN. And let me just be clear here: I'm not saying that I think Mike Pence is incapable of lying or being misleading. All politicians are unworthy of unearned trust and should be scrutinized. So that's not my issue here. Fact check, legitimate fact checks of Mike Pence, all you want. But that's not what we're seeing here. No, no, that's not what we're seeing. Pence is being scrutinized to the point that most of the fact checks look more like what you might hear from uh, a Biden campaign spokesperson as a guest on the Brian Stelter show. And a great example of what I'm talking about when I say that these are fake fact checks, and it's more just like a Biden campaign spin job, is here from the New York Times and on their fact check article from uh, the debate. And it's from uh, Coral Davenport. I'm not really sure. Or Coral. Coral Davenport. I'm not really sure who she is. But she's one of uh, New York Times fact checkers. And she said that this was false. Uh, from Mike Pence, quote, They want to abolish fossil fuels and ban fracking. Mr. Pence. False. Highlight in, you know, highlighted there. <laughs> Which is a pretty, I mean, that's a pretty strong claim. You're saying that he just lied. Okay. Well, let's see what she has to say. She says, Mr. Biden's climate change plan when end new leases for hydraulic fracking or fracking for oil and gas on federal lands, but it does not ban existing fracking on public lands or new or existing fracking on private land. Okay, this is spin because unfortunately for the Biden supporters in the media, we actually have Joe Biden on record on video saying that 
his ultimate goal is to get rid of fracking and get rid of fossil fuels altogether. I am not banning fracking. Let me say that again. I am not banning fracking, no matter how many times Donald Trump lies about me. Thank you, Mr. Vice President, just to clarify, would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, it would be, we, would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated and no more subsidies for either one of those, either any fossil fuel. No more, no new fracking. And by the way, on the Recovery Act, I was able to make sure we invested $90 billion in making sure we brought down the price of solar and wind that is lower than the price of coal. That's why not another new coal plant will be built. So when, I, when we look at this fact check, it, it is spin. It's campaign spin. Um, Biden said what his ultimate goal was. He, he made no bones about it. He said no more new fracking. And uh, so anything after that, that that you hear from the media or Biden's campaign is pure subterfuge. So they don't scare away the moderates because a, a lot of this election is going to come down to peeling away moderates who, you know, sway whichever way the wind blows. So there are tons of other ones just like that out there in the fact checking uh, multiverse which is why I'm not going to go through all of them. I do want to go through one other one, which kind of uh, exemplifies what I'm talking about. It's a fact check of Camilla Harris on behalf of the Biden campaign. So it's kind of crazy. Like Camilla Harris said something that they're afraid, again, that may, you know, peel moderates away from Biden. So they're doing damage control. The supposed fact checker quotes Kamala Harris as saying, on day one, Joe Biden will repeal that tax bill, referring to the Trump tax cuts. He says, this is false. Everybody else just said false. He said this is false, just to add that extra umph to it. And he, he says here, uh, Mr. Biden's stated campaign plan proposes to repeal some, but not all, of the tax cuts. Mr. Trump signed into law in 2017. The House and the Senate would have to pass new tax legislation to accomplish that. This is just, it, it's just funny to me because it's another example of these fact checkers really just acting as, you know, part of the Biden campaign. They're actually going after her. Camilla Harris, who is part of the Biden campaign, saying she's wrong <laughs> when she's really just staying. She's on one hand, she's saying what the left wants to hear, but she's also stating what their actual what they actually want to do. And these fact checkers don't like that. They're doing damage control. So now that we got all of that out of the way, this is the big lie that I really wanted to focus on. And the reality of this is that we are talking about an election in 27 days where last week, the President of the United States took a debate stage in front of 70 million Americans and refused to condemn white supremacists. Not true. And Not true. It wasn't like he didn't have a chance. He didn't do it, and then he doubled down. And then he said, when pressed, stand back, stand by. And this is a part of a pattern of Donald Trump's. You, he, was, he called Mexicans rapists and criminals. He instituted as his first act a Muslim ban. He, on the issue of Charlottesville, where people were peacefully protesting the need for racial justice, where a young woman was killed. And on the other side, there were neo-Nazis carrying tiki torches, shouting racial epithets, anti-Semitic slurs. And Donald Trump, when asked about it, said there were fine people on both sides. This is who we have as the president of the United States. That's the main lie that was told. I mean, she just literally rattled off like five or six lies there that the media and the fact checkers have completely ignored. Um, right after this, she went on to CNN with Jake Tapper, uh, went around all the networks, really, and told the same lie over and over again without being fact-checked. Okay, so like I said, there was a bunch of whoppers there that she just rattled off that are easily fact-checked. So it's, you know, a big mystery why American media wouldn't do that. But the fact is, he has condemned white supremacists going back to before the campaign. He condemned the white nationalists and neo-Nazis who were in Charlottesville. He did not call Mexicans rapists. He said that a subset 
of illegal immigrants coming across the border are criminals and rapists. There's a huge difference in those statements. So she's just all over the place there, but the media is not going to fact check it. And the reason is pretty obvious because they're in on it. They're really invested in the big lie. It's uh, a linchpin of their Trump is a racist narrative. So I found it odd when I started looking on all the fact checks. Uh, well, I guess it's not odd. It's it's expected. But going on to all the fact checks, you can see none of them um, actually address that at all. None of them, you know, uh, uh, call Harris out for lying or defend Trump, you know, show, saying that, hey, at least 20 times. And uh, if you haven't seen the videos, I've done several videos on this now. At least 20 times, maybe more. But looking on all of these fact checks on all the major networks, USA Today, CNN, New York Times, whatever it may be, they don't talk about it. But guess where I did find a fact check of this lie? Once again, once again, because this has happened one other time, but on the BBC. It says right there, Harris, Trump said that there were fine people on both sides in far-right protests. Now, they don't get to everything here, but they say that the quote is correct, that he did say the fine people on both sides. But that Trump said that in the same press conference is actually like the next sentence that he was not referring to neo-Nazis and white nationalists. They put the quote right in here. However, at the same press conference, Mr. Trump went on to say, I'm not talking about neo-Nazis and white na nationalists because they should be condemned totally. How completely insane is it that we as Americans have to go to international news for the truth? We have to go to British state media to get the truth about politicians in our own country. And then she also makes the claim that Trump, uh, when given the opportunity to again condemn white supremacists, you know, for the 20, 30th time now, uh, who knows why he has to keep doing this, but she claimed that he had the opportunity during the Fox News debate and did not. I'm sorry, but that's not true either, and here's the proof. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared willing to, to do specifically? That. So there's tons more of these fake fact checks just like this and I'll link them all in the description if you want to take a look. Um, like I said, as far as I'm concerned, all those fact checks are uh, from organizations that are completely untrustworthy. That's about all I have to say on that. Like I said, I just wanted to hit on that major fact check that all the media ignored and just show that these fact checks in general are just completely untrustworthy. Uh, but I do also want to invite you all to my D Live and my Discord tonight for Horror Movie Night, which will be starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find all the links for that in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back. <laughs>